Hi, Mark Gibson from Mark Gibson's Exceptional Golf, based here at RACV Royal Pines Resort. Today we're going to do a series of three tips for you that we hope will help you with your game and particularly helping you to reduce your scores. The tip we're doing now is about pitching. And pitching's the unsung hero that can save you a lot of shots on course. So the technique of a pitch shot is really quite simple. It's a normal grip, normal posture, normal balance. When we take the club back, you'll see a slight motion towards my back foot and you'll see me finishing off nice and balanced on my front foot. That part of the game is really easy. The main thing I've got here is I've got a line of talcum powder on the ground. Now what that line's going to tell me about is the quality of strike. When I'm practicing pitching, I want to put the ball at the front, see myself hit the shot, then refer back down to see where the strike was. All as the talcum powder does is it gives me a great reference point. When I've played a pitch shot, I can look at the divot to see where the ball started. If I can get the strike and the contact just at the front of the talcum powder, I know I've hit it properly. So you'll see here that the contact I've made with the ball is right at the front of the talcum powder. And that means that I've made the sort of contact that I want that'll give me the flight that I need to get a good result. This tip is about helping you to make better contact with your bunker shots. So what I'm going to do here is place two lines either side of the golf ball, just using a tee. When we were down playing the pitch shot, we actually had the ball at the start of the divot. Here we're going to have the ball in the middle of the divot. The actual principle of motion is the same. The grip's the same, posture's the same, and the power source movement is the same. Now actually getting control of where you get the club to enter the sand is a really important facet of bunker play. To help you practice it, what I'm going to get you to do is to play a bunker shot with the lines about that far apart. I'm going to set my feet and play a bunker shot and we're going to see the club enter the sand here near that line and exit near that front line. That's really going to help your bunker shots. When I teach putting, there are two questions that I always ask the golfer. To improve their putting, do they need to make more of the shorter putts? Or on the longer putts, do they need to eliminate their three putts? Well, this tip comes in two parts, and the first part is about holding more of those makeable putts. You'll see here on the green, I have a dot of talcum powder. I'm actually sitting my ball on top of it. I'm about three feet from the hole. The problem that a lot of golfers have is when they hit this putt with a high expectation of holding it, that they actually start to get involved in the outcome before they strike the ball. Now, this is a very simple way of practicing so that you don't get caught up in that. So what I have is the ball on top of the talcum powder dot. I'm going to now make my putt. When I strike the ball, I actually want to see the talcum powder before I look up. Now what that guarantees is that I've actually stayed still on the putt and made sure that I haven't got involved in the outcome too early. Most three putts occur not because of direction, because of the player's inability to hit at the right distance. 97% of all three putts occur because of lack of that distance control. So this part of the tip is about how to give you judgment to hit at the right distance. What it's really about is not thinking. So I'm standing here on a direct line between the, the hole, the ball and myself in a straight line. I'm now looking at the hole and creating the stroke that I'm going to use. I'm not thinking about it, I'm actually using instinct. The trick here is to walk in and hit the putt with exactly that practice stroke. And by not thinking about it and repeating that practice stroke that I use the instinct to train will guarantee me getting it pretty close to hole high. Makes that second putt easy. I hope those three tips help you to reduce your score. Just remember, in the short game, the technique is never that difficult, but getting that focus right on the things that are relevant, and they're the things I featured today, you'll make a difference with it. 
All the best. Enjoy your golf.